Hello and uh, welcome to the workshop. It's a little test rig I've got here. And today I'm going to connect the Alan Bradley SLC 500 LC to my laptop. And I'm going to be using this uh, converter. It's a 1747 UIC. It uh, connects into your laptop with a USB plug. And the other end is a DH485 which goes into the PLC. This PLC only has one socket. DH485, so that's the only option on that one. The other end plugs into your laptop. One of your USB sockets. And you should see the green OK light come on. OK, you've plugged in your Allen Bradley interface converter, your UIC device. It's going to be um, assigned a COM port number, and you have to find out what that is. The way to do it on my computer, and they're not all the same, some are slightly different. Go to the control panel, uh, system, click on that, click on hardware, device manager, and that should open up. There we are, you can have a look at your COM ports, open that up, and there it is. It's a, it's a USB DH485. Um, interface converter and on my computer it's been assigned COM port 5 yours could be different it won't be uh, COM 1 it'll possibly be 4 or 7 or 5 so if you write that number down you'll need it later ok we're going to program the SLC 500 500 series <coughs> or even the Micrologix series using RS Logix 500 and at the same time we have to have RS Links Classic open now this is the communication program and this is the tricky bit now you might find, depending on who set up your laptop, that this is already running as a service. If you have a look down in the bottom right hand corner of your toolbar, you see that little symbol, it's probably already running. Um, it does give problems with other programs, so I don't have it ru running automatically, I open it manually. So I'm going to show you how to open it manually if you don't have a shortcut. Come over to Start, All Programs, up to Rockwell Software, um, not Rockwell Automation, that's a different one. Come back to Rockwell Software, come across to RS Links, and across again to RS Links Classic. There are a number of different versions of this, but this is the one I've got. So click on that, and it'll open up. And there you are, you should have a window something like that. Okay, it could be that your RS Links Classic window has got something different written in here. Just depends on what driver was used last time. So we need to select the correct driver for the UIC. So if we come up here, click on that. This shows the driver that's running at the moment. There could be more than one, but that's the only one we need. And we don't actually want that one, so we'll stop it. I'll go to stop, and we'll delete it. Delete it. We're not completely deleting it from the system. So if we come up here, where we've got available driver types, click on that. Now we want to look for the UIC. There we are, DH84, sorry, DH485 UIC devices. So we'll click on that. Come across to Add New. OK. Now, you've got to select the COM port. This, if you remember from previously, you have to find the COM port number that your laptop has assigned to, the USB, to that USB. Um, on my computer, it's COM5. And if you've uh, watched my previous bit of uh, video, it will show you how to find that number. It, but it's likely not to be COM1. OK. So there we are. UIC, it's COM5, and it's running. So we can close this. Well, that is actually still running. And there it has Alan Bradley UIC DH485. And if we click on this little icon here, and it's brought up your workstation or your laptop and the UIC device and it's found you've got your SLC 500 here or if you've got a Micrologix it'll be a slightly different picture and it'll say Micrologix and it, depending on whether it's titled or not there'll be a name in there so it does appear to be running sometimes this won't come up straight away and you might have to switch this little tick off here and do a refresh and it'll go searching for whatever might be connected okay. so now we can put this down to one side and open RS Logix 500 
Okay, I can open Logix, Iris Logix 500. It's going to open up. It does take a bit of a time on my computer. There we go. Okay, RS Logix 500. There are several ways of going online depending off depending on whether you already have the program on your laptop or not. But let's just assume you don't have the program, you don't know what it's called, you just want to go straight online. Okay? So we go up to this little offline, click on the little arrow, select go online. And it's come up with current driver ABDF1 may not be running. This is because a previous person that's used this laptop has had a different driver going. And you need to set this actually in RS Logix 500. So we say OK. And the way to go around this is go to Tools, Options, System Communication, Drivers. You now want to select ABUIC1. OK. OK on that. Now go back to Go Online. This window comes up because RS Logix 500 uh, needs a matching file on your laptop, the same as that's in the PLC. Um, you could browse for one if you already knew the program was on your laptop, but uh, we'll just create a new one. So click on Create New File. There we go. And now it's showing the program that's actually on the SLC 500. And if we get select another bit of the uh, ladder structure, there it is. And if I just go and operate the PLC, I might be able to get one of the inputs to go. So there we are. You can see input 02 going on and off there. That's it. So you're all online. But what you don't have is any comments. There's uh, nothing written on the lines. That's because they're all saved uh, on the original program. Not in the SLC 500, but the original program written on your laptop or, or wherever it was written. OK, well, that's it. I hope this has helped. It's not an easy thing to do until you know how, like many things. My next video is going to be uh, connecting your laptop using a serial port to an RS-232 on an Allen Bradley PLC. Thanks for watching. Bye.